According to a new report from the Washington Post, Republican Congressman Matt Gates, in the middle of all of his trouble right now, but, but this new story kind of adds another layer to the trouble that Matt Gates is facing. And this report says that the people they spoke to who are close to Matt Gates say that over the years, the man has not been shy about boasting about the fact that he had quote access to women provided by a former Seminole County tax collector by the name of Joel Greenberg. And if you'll remember, Joel Greenberg is the man who has been indicted for alleged sex trafficking of young women. And Matt Gates, according to uh, these insiders who spoke to the Washington post used to boast about having access to women that Greenberg provided. Now, if these allegations against Greenberg are in fact true, then that would really be no different than bragging about having access to women provided by Jeff Epstein. And that's the level we're looking at here. And let's not forget, by the way, that Joel Greenberg, a major player in the Florida Republican party, his legal problems are actually what sparked the investigation into Matt Gates, because apparently while investigating Greenberg, they found evidence tying in Matt Gates. And we know that Matt Gates had toured Greenberg's offices. We have those text messages where they left all those IDs, you know, laying out. And that's why Matt Gates is now possibly suspected of being involved in some kind of fake ID ring, which is exactly the kind of thing you would need to do if you were trafficking women and wanted to hide their real identities, not let people be able to track them. Folks, this story is getting more disgusting by the day. Matt Gates's behavior is no longer avoidable. I don't care if Republicans want to continue to stay silent. I don't care that Fox news decided to not even mention Matt Gates for days on end because they were embarrassed of having promoted him for all these years. And of course, what he implicated Tucker Carlson in, uh, last week, this is real. The investigation and subsequent charges and trial, if that happens, that will determine his guilt, right? But at this point, the evidence is too big to ignore. It is too big to just allow this man to continue to go and serve in the United States house of representatives. There is no way he could actually be an effective leader for Florida's first district here, which he hasn't been since day one, by the way, uh, with all these allegations swirling over him, he will not resign. He has made that much clear. So the only thing we can hope for at this point is that this investigation kicks into high gear and starts leveling some charges against him. You know, there were rumors swirling over the weekend that, oh, Gates was going to be indicted any day now. None of that actually happened. And I honestly don't think the investigation is at that point yet, but all of this new information that has been revealed over the last few days, again, a lot of it coming from these insiders, from congressional staffers, from members of Congress themselves. All that does is paint a very clear pattern of behavior of who Matt Gates really is the spoiled little brat whose daddy got him out of any trouble, never taught him to take responsibility for his actions. In fact, taught him the opposite, taught him that you can get away with anything because of your powerful, politically connected family. And this is the end result. This is what we're seeing now. Much like Donald Trump, a man who thought he was too big to fail, but he's failing pretty hard now. So let's wait and see what this investigation turns up. But I guarantee you, we're going to find out even more disgusting stuff about Matt Gates. That's going to make some of the stuff we already know look pretty tame in comparison.